Alright, so we're gonna do a video game vlog because, real quick, because I've been on YouTube for the last couple of days looking for stuff to watch. And I understand that there's like not a lot going around and everybody's getting ready for E3. Okay, I got that. That's fine. So, what I have been seeing a little too much of the last few days is sad ass Silent Hill whatever the fuck fan games and just and like pt and all right y'all look i understand i i was sad too i loved silent hill granted i came to the silent hill party a bit late because my dumb ass is like oh it's trying to be like resident evil and i love resident evil and bleh I came to that party late because I was being stupid and I understand that I was being stupid and that there was just me being dumb and I'm okay with that. That was my mistake. But when I finally got to the Silent Hill party, I could understand why everybody was like, well, damn, this is a nice party. So I don't know what the fuck I was talking about all those years. So yes, I came to the Silent Hill party a, a wee bit late, but I got there and everybody was happy and I was happy. And when Silent Hill was going around, Everybody was all excited for it. Everybody was like, oh my god, this is gonna be the greatest thing. Oh, it's gonna be it's looking hot. That PT demo was wonderful. Okay, yes, it was. It was wonderful. And it was good and it was glorious, but it's gone now. <laughs> Remember that part in Silent Hill 2 where they were like, there's a there was a hole here, but it's gone now. Think of the Silent Hill series as that sad hole that was there, but it was gone now. <laughs> Just keep that image framed in your mind when you think about Silent Hill. Because I was thinking about it. I'm like, y'all, like, I saw at least three or four, three or four um, Survival Horror Network replay PT with something never forgive, never forget. I'm like, well, damn, buddy. Calm down. Like, it, it was sad, but it's not that bad. Then, um, Nosekin, I think, I don't know how to pronounce them. They started playing a couple of Silent Hill fan games and just... <sighs> the only good Silent Hill fan game that I've personally seen is, um, something called Alchemia or Alchemilla. Um, it came out a while ago. I think it came out like two or three years ago. I, Al Camilla, it does have parts that's kind of slow, but Al Camilla, more or less, is not that terrible of a, of a Silent Hill fan game. Um, the one I watched yesterday, I, don't, I think it was a demo for something. No, that was that was a hot fucking mess. I I did not like that. And then I watched No Skin play. Somebody redid the PT demo and made it look real fucked up and like half pixel it was it looked weird it didn't look right because like pt demo looked real polished and that looked weird and fucked up and i don't i don't know what the fuck that was about and i couldn't get that because i was like it, it, it was like watching something in like bad quality it's like going it's like taking something off a blu-ray disc and then putting it on an old busted VHS tape if you are old enough to know what a VHS tape looks like and it, and it wasn't in the best quality anyway And the tape was all fucked up. It had like old episodes of Star Trek getting taped over it So they could put that PT dip. It, it looked like that. It looked that level of fucked up and I was just like no I can't watch this so they need to you all need to stop It's time to stop now and it's time to get some grief counseling and I am here to help you through the grieving process because I think a lot of you haven't gone through the stages of grief. I'm going to read to you what the five stages of grief are. Because I know a lot of y'all got caught in a lot of these ones. The first stage is denial and isolation. That's when you're like, I don't believe it. It can't be happening. And I don't, I'm, I'm not accepting of this. And bleh. I think a lot of people... That's what happened to the dude on the Survival Horror Network. I love me some Survival Horror Network too, no end. I watch they stuff constantly. I'm even following Boyfriend on Twitter. But you're stuck at the denial. You Actually, he's stuck in one and two. Denial and the second stage is anger. He's stuck in denial and anger. And, like, never forgive, never forget. Can I throw this out here? Because I don't, there's some 
stuff I don't think a lot of people understand. Um, before Kojima and Konami had their whatever the fuck falling out, um, if you've never played any of Kojima's games, if you've never played Metal Gear, you've never played Tokimeki Memorial, you've never played the fuck was it game police cops i forget what it's called battle cops battle knots police knots or some shit i think it's police knots because i had to remember for that line for the sisters we took police knots police knots but yeah if you've never if you xeno gears if you've never ever played a game by hideo kojima or kojima or as i like to call him hideo kojima you don't understand, and even in Castlevania, I forgot about that. I almost forgot about that. You don't understand how bad and long, fucking long, them cutscenes get to be. I'm not good at horror games. I'm. It's just I get too scared, and then I be wanting to throw up, and then I just I can't handle it. So I don't play horror games. I just watched it. A lot of modern games I can't really play well, so I just watch them, and I'm content with watching them, and that's just where it is. So, man, I don't even know. If you've never played Metal Gear, if you've never played that Castlevania that he rebooted and, in my opinion, fucked up, if you've never played Xeno Gears, I don't think you understand Silent Hill was going to be super fucking long because you would have, and I'm not being hyperbolic, I'm not bullshitting you, you're going to have 15, 20-minute long cutscenes. I don't think if you were ready for that, you would be able to handle that. That would be a tough nut to crack, a hard pill to swallow, and everybody would be pissed off and screaming like, why the fuck is this cutscene 500 years long? That's the thing about Kojima. He, he, I loved, basically I love Metal Gear 1, 2, and 3, 4 and 5 can suck my dick, and whatever. But the, the truth of the matter about it is, he, as they used to say in Philly, like, uh, uh, like 20 years ago, we'd be having the raps. That means they, like, be talking. Koji might be having the raps real fucking bad. And you are gonna be sitting there watching 20-minute long cutscenes. And that was gonna piss a lot of people off. I think a lot of people who liked Silent Hill were kind of a little bit skeptical. Even though it, it didn't really showcase, the PT demo didn't really showcase like, his ability to have a long-ass fucking cutscene, it was gonna be long. I can, I could, I could put fucking cash money on the shit and be like, yeah, it, this shit was gonna, you wouldn't be sitting through several 20-minute cutscenes. Fucking Metal Gear Solid 4 has 10 plus hours of cutscenes. That is ridiculous for a video game. So, I understand that it was looking hot, but because you might be rapping and be talking until your ear fall off and be bleeding, you be screaming and he still be talking, so, I don't know what you were going to get there, but it probably wasn't going to be anything anybody was trying to hear get talked, so, I don't know. But, let's go back to our stages of grief, shall we? So, Survival Horror Network was just kind of firmly stuck in denial and anger. Which, I was reading something yesterday. They were like, well, anger isn't terrible to be stuck in. You should, you have a right to be angry. And we as a fans, as fans have a right to be angry. But it's time to let the shit go. It's been what? That was like 2000, what? 14, 13? Either way, it was a long ass time ago. And it's just time to move the fuck on. So, I don't even know. Bargaining. Yeah, the bargaining thing. And people are stuck in this, too. I've seen petitions. Petition so, like, Kojima can can do Silent and do PT and Silent Hills because, like, I need, because, like, it'll be good and win. Let the fuck go. He don't even work at Capcom. I mean, not Capcom. I want to say Capcom so bad. Cause, but even Capcom wouldn't fuck up this much. Like, Capcom would do stupid shit, but they wouldn't do stupid shit like this. Um, they would just, like, have cranked out some bullshit for several years and then, like, finally got their shit together where everybody was finally, like, sick of them fucking up. Which is what they did with Resident Evil. But, I'm saying, they wouldn't have fucked up this bad. This is some shit nobody was expecting out of Konami. So, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've seen petitions. Petition K K Konami to come out with, with Sailor Hills because we need it and bleh. Get some grief counseling. I am here for your grief counseling session. I'm wearing my funeral dress. 
it's time to have a funeral and just let it go. It's time. It's time to let it go, everybody. Depression, like, people be sad about it. I was sad about it. But see, I, unlike everybody else, have gone on to the final phase of grief acceptance. That it's dead. It's gone. It's not coming back. We all cried about it. And we were like, where? And we were, we tried. We were angry. We were like, no. Then we had to finally get our shit together and be like, okay. It's gone now. And I think that's where a lot of people are stuck. Look. Honestly, I would love to see somebody, somebody good. Because, ugh. <sighs> Granted, Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3 were really, really good. Actually, 4 is good. 4 is just real slow. <laughs> 4 is like like a dirge slow. But I wasn't angry at Downpour. I didn't hate Downpour. And I actually didn't even hate um Homecoming. Homecoming was just poorly executed. Downpour was just predictable. And... That one that was on the Wii, um, memories or shattered, shattered memories, as I like call it, shattered memories. Um, I couldn't get through shattered memories, if I remember. I thought I had gotten through it, but I, I don't, I, I couldn't. I remember distinctly, I kept watching that first part over and over, and every time I tried to watch it, it was always that first part, and I was just like, no. So then I just skipped ahead to the endings and was like, oh, okay. I didn't feel like I missed anything. And that truck dude story can burn in hell. I will never forgive them for that fucking truck dude. In fact, when I watched that second movie when it came out, it came out eons ago. But when I watched it, I watched it like about three or four years ago. Because it was on the sci-fi channel one day. And at the end of that movie, is there the girl and some boy are walking on the side of the road. And then there's big ass tractor trailer truck comes up and I was sitting there I was standing there praying I will never forget this I was like please don't be the truck dude please don't be the truck dude he's the truck stops he's like my name they get in the truck and he's like my name is Travis and legit was like no screaming at the top of my lungs like somebody just stuck a knife in me that's how disgusted I was with that truck dude the, tr the truck dude stories need to not we need to not do no more truck dude stories so, but, for the most part, it's just gone. And I understand the need to want to, like, figure out what PT might have, what might have been. It, it, it's enticing to think what may have been with Silent Hill, where Kojima and, and Guillermo del Toro and um, fucking um, Norman Reedus, what the fuck they were going to do with it. It would have been interesting to see, but, alas. It's going now. Again, the image of that hole. There was a hole here, but it's gone now. There was a game there, but it's gone now. It died tragically in a tragic grease fire, and we all just need to move on with our lives. If you need some counseling, I am here for you. I won't say 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, because when, when I'm trying to sleep, don't bother me. Don't talk to me. It's like, leave me alone. But I'm here for you when I'm awake and, like, alert and cognizant of the world around me. So, get some grief counseling in your lives. Please stop making these sad, um, fan games. Because the problem with the fan games are they're not nuanced. The thing about Silent Hill was it's that subtle, big-ass spider bug whatever crawling on your arm you just sitting there having a chat with somebody they're looking like oh god and you're like what and then it's like right there all big and horrifying and then that's the kind of creepy silent hill is and the fan games don't quite pick up on that like i said al camilla was the best one but it's real slow in a lot of parts so but i could actually get through al camilla i've actually watched al camilla at least twice I want to say three times, but I've been bored enough to watch Al Camilla. And it's, it's actually not a terrible fan game. That one yesterday, I don't know what the fuck that was, but that needs to stop. And then they ha and it always has, like, that Murphy Pimbleton from Downpour. Not that I have a problem with that, but, like, I don't know. Get some new fucking character, like, models. Shit. I don't even know. And then there was one with Murphy Pimbleton that was just bad. I'll, I just stop with the fan games. I know. I know it hurts. 
get some goddamn grief counseling together. So that's all I have for now. And I will talk to y'all next time. And if you need some grief counseling, you know where to find a sister. So 